Welcome to Music at Noon. My name is Daniel Cabina, and I'm delighted to welcome you here into this beautiful space, the Maureen Forrester Recital Hall at Wilfrid Laurier University's Faculty of Music. This beautiful room with its warmth of acoustic is built upon beautiful land, the land of the Haldeman Tract, which is the traditional territory of the neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. This land remains home today to a diverse community of First Nations, Métis, and Indigenous peoples, whom we respect and honor and celebrate as traditional stewards of this land. This land and this tradition of stewardship and friendship sustains us in all that we do here at Wilfrid Laurier University. It sustains us in our teaching and our learning it sustains us in all our diversity. It sustains us in our music making and our community building. Welcome. Now today's program is offered by two wonderful pianists, Elaine Lau and Joe Ferretti. They're wonderful pianists and they're wonderful teachers here at the Faculty of Music. And their program perhaps falls in a, at a perfect moment for us, this being a week in which we have time to reflect on loss. This week, and in the course of this week, we have occasion through National Aboriginal Veterans Day and Remembrance Day to commemorate those who have lost their lives in armed conflict throughout the world. This week also perhaps gives us occasion to commemorate those who have lost their homes through armed conflict. And Elaine and Joe's program gives us a particular kind of prism through which to commemorate and through which to explore the idea of home. Their program of music by Chopin, Oscar Peterson, and Tan Dun explores the theme of homesickness and home. Today's program begins with a beautiful work by Frédéric Chopin, played by Joe Ferretti. Uh, the work in question is Chopin's Ballade in G minor, opus 23. Now, as I mentioned, this program's theme is homesickness and home. And Chopin, as you may know, um, was suffering from a particular kind of displacement uh, at the time of this, at, at the period of this piece, that being the displacement of the expat. Chopin had left uh, his homeland of Poland and settled in Paris uh, in the early 1830s, where he found himself all of a sudden at the very center of the Romantic movement, surrounded by wonderful creators like himself, striving to create something entirely new, but at the same time, Chopin's mind was called backwards in longing, if you like, for his homeland, which was, by the way, embroiled in political turmoil. But I don't want you to get the idea that today's program is a sad one. And so I just note some things that Joe Ferretti said about this piece. He suggests that it's full not only of the intensity of adversity, but also of moments of glorious triumph. He suggests that Chopin's G minor ballade is feisty, as if it's saying, darn it, I'm gonna beat this thing. I'm determined. So without further ado, here's a very determined Joe Ferretti playing Chopin's Opus 23 ballade in G minor. Thank you. 
From homesickness, we turn to a celebration of home. As the program continues with Joe Freddy's performance of the Laurentide Waltz from Oscar Peterson's Canadiana Suite from 1963-1964. That suite uh, is conceived of as a sort of railway journey from coast to coast, from Canada's east coast to Canada's west coast. And so this second movement, the Laurentide Waltzes, is uh, right at the beginning of that wonderful journey. And here's a little something of what Oscar Peterson had to say about the work. He says, my profession has taken me to every part of the world none of them more beautiful than where I live. As a musician, I respond to the harmony and rhythm of life. And when I'm deeply moved, it leaves something singing inside me. With a country as large and as full of contrast as Canada, I had a lot of themes to choose from when I wrote the Canadiana Suite. This is my musical portrait of the Canada I love. That's some of what Oscar Peterson had to say about this beautiful work, the Canadiana Suite, from which Joe Ferretti will now play the second movement, the Laurentide Waltz. third and final work on today's program is Tan Dun's Eight Memories in Watercolor. It's the composer's Opus One, and it will be played by Elaine Lau. Tan Dun speaks of this work and its eight movements as being a sort of diary of longing. 
And it's in this sense that it's very much related to the theme of, of today's program, of homesickness. In 1978, when Tan Dun wrote this piece, which was originally, by the way, called Eight Sketches in Hunan Accent, he had just moved from Hunan province to Beijing to study at the Central Conservatory of Music. And in fact, Tan Dun's life journey has taken him even farther afield from China. And he's lived in the United States now for some years. And he's, he's in fact the dean of Bard Conservatory of Music. We hear in these eight memories in watercolor, Opus One of Tan Dun, some of the folk influences, the haunting folk melodies of Tan Dun's native Hunan province. And I'd like just to, to read out the names of these movements, these eight movements, which are so evocative. Missing Moon, Staccato Beans, Herd Boy's Song, Blue Nun, Red Wilderness, Ancient Burial, Floating Clouds, and Sun Rain. Here is Elaine Lau playing Tan Dun's Eight Memories in Watercolor. Opus one.
Thanks so much to Elaine and Joe for this beautiful concert and for their beautiful playing. And thanks to you for joining us. We hope you'll join us again next week for another edition of Music at Noon, offered by Laurie Gemmel and Catherine Robertson. It'll be a program of music for harp and French horn. In the meantime, I don't know about you, but I, I'm very much missing the conversation that we have out in the lobby before and after these beautiful concerts. So I want to invite you, our community of listeners, to lavish upon us your comments and questions. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and we'd love to chat with you online. Now until next week, you might also consider the possibility of, of offering your support for what we do here at the Faculty of Music uh, by considering making a donation to the Faculty of Music's Student Scholarship Fund. Donations can be made via the Faculty of Music's events page. Now until next week, be safe and be well and be making music. <laughs>